What is up everybody? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to get a bunch of stuff done and I figured I'd just kind of take you along for the for the journey and just make this another daily vlog. So as you guys saw, the ducks are getting really big. So um, if you saw back in a couple videos ago, we made a little duck house and attached it to our chicken coop. Um, the more I look at it, the more that uh, I'm trying to prepare for the future because I don't know that the chicken coop area is big enough to add a duck, let alone maybe two of them. So I think we're gonna do something a little bit different. I think what we're gonna do is build a bigger duck house. Uh, basically like ducks need like a dog house. So like, like a big dog house is what we're gonna do and it's tall enough that I can go into it to clean it. So that's what we're gonna try and build today. Um, and then, so what we have on the side of our house, we have another separate door on this side that we don't use because we put the dog out there. So this is the dog's run. So uh, the grass needs to be cut, but uh, other than that, it's just used for the dog. He goes out there and he goes to the bathrooms. That way he doesn't contaminate and poop all over our side of the yard. So it's, we have the dog's yard and our yard. So with that said, we're gonna build a duck house and put it in there because if we have, if these ducks turn out to be males or if one of them is a male, we can't put them in the chicken coop with the chickens because he could try to breed with the hens and actually breed them to death and kill them. So we're not gonna put, if either of them are males, they're not gonna go in there. If they're both females, they could go in with the chickens, but I just think it's not enough room. So what we can do now is put them, their little duck house back here in this corner by the door and then they can, we can open that up and they can just run out here and free range out here. I think they're gonna be big enough that once they're full grown, we don't have to worry about the predators during the day. We could put them in the, the duck house at night and shut the door and they should be fine. So, so let's get started on this duck house. Okay, so far what I did, I started building the frame. I built this frame on the ground first and that's all pressure treated lumber. So I built that to the side. Once that was built, I got two pressure treated four by fours and I'm basically gonna build a mini shed. So the frame is gonna sit on top of the four by fours and then we'll level the ground and this is just how it's gonna sit on the ground itself. So now what we're gonna do is glue, put glue underneath here and here under all these spots and then we're just gonna toenail all the screws in. I think that's what it's called. Let me be completely honest with you. I don't know how to build anything. I've never had any wood shop classes. Uh, I just never had anybody that really showed me how to build things. I just love building things. Uh, and I know that sounds a little bit weird. I, I like to build things. It like curbs my anxiety. Like I love building. I just don't know how to build anything. So I kind of just like wing it or like watch YouTube videos or just say like, this is kind of how I think it's to, some, supposed to be built. So again, I don't know what I'm building or if I'm even saying things correctly. So I could be using the wrong terms. I don't even know. So again, I have no building experience. I'm just kind of like an average do it yourself or trying to wing this in the backyard. All right, so now we're just gonna screw this all down to the four by fours. All right, so that's all screwed in. Now what we're gonna do is go get a piece of subfloor plywood and we're gonna get that cut. This is a four foot by six foot dimension. So we're gonna get that cut four foot by six foot, lay that on top. Again, we're gonna glue that down and then screw that directly onto this and that'll create our uh, full finished, I guess, foundation, platform, structure. I don't know, whatever, it'll create the bottom. All right, so just like that, we got the plywood cut and done. So uh, this is four by six, it's a four by eight sheet. And uh, we just cut off two feet off one end. And so now that is set on top. We just glued it down, now we're gonna go screw it all in. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, so I have some of this left over. This was in, I don't know what this is. It's like a flimsy plastic thing. So uh, if you wanna go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you can just um, go to the aisle and just say, or go find an employee and say, I'm looking for the flimsy plastic thing. And they should know exactly that you're a weekend warrior and have no clue what you're talking about. So ask them, they should be able to help you. And so I just got that and I'm gonna, I've cut it because I used it before. And so I'm gonna screw it all down and then just take a jigsaw and just go right along the line here. Um, and so what this is gonna do is, since the ducks are always dealing with water, they're usually wet, um, their poop is actually wetter than chickens, uh, this is gonna allow me to clean this a lot easier and not let the moisture seep into the wood. So we're gonna screw this all down and then we're gonna build our walls right on top of this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I cut the top and bottom plate, top and bottom plate of each wall. So now what we're gonna do is build the walls laying down and then we'll take the wall, set it on here and then just screw the wall down. 
and then we can connect everything together. Uh, but then it's gonna be too heavy for us to move. We don't have any tractors and we're trying to fit it back through this little gate and get it through there. So we probably have to turn this platform sideways and get it through. So what I'm gonna do is build all the walls and then go back there, clear out that area where it's gonna go and prep that. And so once that's prepped, then this platform can go in and get set and then all the walls will be done and built so they can just go in and get screwed in and we kind of just put it all together that way. So home stretch. All right, so we got three of the walls done. We got one, the short wall, and the other long wall. So six foot wall, four foot wall, six foot wall. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna pack everything up and head in, finish this on a nicer day. So again, we got the base done, the three walls done. And the reason I didn't do this wall is I'm gonna leave this empty. Well, I'm not gonna put a floor plate here, because that way when I open the main door, I'll be able to, again, go in and clean all that out. I'll be able to pull it and won't get caught in that lip. So I think I'm gonna do one big swinging door that's almost this whole front wall. I'll have this whole front wall swing open so I can clean it out. And then what I'll do is close that wall and then I'll have a smaller door built into that big door. So a door in a door. And probably the little door might be up on a, like a pull up string type thing, you know, like a, a piece that lifts, goes up and down. And then the whole wall will open when I need to clean it. On to tomorrow. All right, so we got it moved into place. So the foundation is set up here. Uh, we leveled it on bricks. And this wall isn't actually uh, drilled in yet. What I'm gonna do is take this wall and take this back little piece out. And I just cut the siding for it. So what I'm gonna do is screw the siding to the wall first and then set it in place. And then I can screw this wall down because once it's in place, I'm not gonna really get behind the wall and screw the siding in. So let's put the siding on the wall, then put it in place and screw it down. All right, so what we did, we sided that wall that wall that wall and then we came in we put that wall in and that wall and that wall and now everything's all screwed together so that's nice and sturdy so now we're just going to work on the front uh, i'm going to put a top plate right here then plywood on the roof and then the corrugated roof on top of that and that should give me a little bit of a downward pitch so the water runs to the back and away from everything else so far it's looking pretty good okay so here's where we're at now so those three walls that you saw were up. So what I decided to do was um, I wanted to pitch it even more and open up this front a little bit taller. So I doubled up these studs here. So there's two studs and two studs. And then I ran a plate across the top. Uh, if I had realized this or planned this out better in the beginning, I would have built this front wall and just ran this as one solid stud instead of having to you know, add the top. But um, I'm okay with it for now. And then what I did was uh, mapped out the door. So I built a little wall here, but just put a ledge over the top. It's probably, and then I have a plate here, a piece there. It's probably not the way that you're supposed to build things, but I think it's gonna work. And remember, this is a duck house. It's a house for ducks. So I think it's gonna, it feels really sturdy and it's all screwed together. So I don't know. This is probably like framing mistakes 101, but I think it's gonna work. And then I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, I'll run the plywood this way, and then I'm gonna leave this open. These sides will be open, and I'm gonna put like a chicken wire, or that mesh cloth stuff in here, so that'll be the ventilation through here. Because when these ducks breathe, they let off a lot of, that's my duck. So when ducks breathe, they let out a lot of moisture, and the moisture has to be able to escape. So I think this is plenty of room for that to happen. All right, so here we go. Here's the finished product. I think it's a finished product, unless I'm missing something. So here's what I did a little bit different since the last time I turned the camera on. Uh, if you remember, I put, um, let's see, where is it? Here, I put two double stacks of pieces of wood, and then I had the piece of wood that ran across the top. When I went to put the roof on, it was pitched like severely, and I was like, it was just not really needed. Plus, I don't think I need that much height anyway. So, uh, because I originally pictured on making the door bigger so I could go in and clean it, but uh, I could still fit through this little door. It's 36 inches tall by 24 wide. So three feet tall, uh, two feet wide. So what I did was I got rid of those two little pieces and I just put the piece of two by four um, just on top of the frame. So the way that looks is I, cr I, instead of laying the wood completely flat, I just have this two by four sitting on top. So it gives a little bit of pitch in the beginning. So it's kind of pitched just a little bit back. So that should be enough to get the water to run that way. And that way too, this little space is only two inches tall. The only thing I can really crawl through here is like a mouse or something, I think. I don't think any raccoons are fitting through here or a fox. So uh, I'm not worrying about putting the chicken wire there. If you think I should put the chicken wire there, comment below, but I don't think I really need it. Um, 
And then so I did the, the plywood and just did the corrugated roof on top. And then I overhung everything. This sticks out farther than the wood. And then the wood sticks out farther than the actual uh, siding. So, um, so anyway, I lowered this back down and then I put this final piece up and remember I framed out that doorway. So what I did was when I, I just put two screws in there and just had it up in place, I had Kristen on the inside. And what she did was she just took a marker and traced around the doorway. And then I unscrewed this. I let her out. I took this off and then I cut the, um, along that line. It, it, to get this line, all I had to do is take a uh, circular saw and then open the guard and just drop it right into the wood, just enough that it would pierce through and I can get my jigsaw blade through there and then I jigsaw both directions to finish the cut. And so that's how it fits nice and perfect back in there. So I then screwed this on and then I added the hinges to the door. I put two locks, this should be good enough. I just bought like two of these things. And I still have that I bought is uh, that white uh, venting, you know, like that rectangular vent. So I might cut that and put one, maybe one on each side. So like one white one there, one white one there, just to help with ventilation to get more ventilation in there. Um, and if I do one and one, it might make it look more uniform. Or if I could find like a more rectangular single piece, uh, that just fits better. I'll do that. Um, I decided to open the door so it swings this way. Uh, so that way nobody coming in and out of this gate will have an issue with it. Even though this gate opens outward, um, and then the only thing I've left to do is do a little ramp. So I'll do a little ramp probably out of either wood. I'm not going to build the dirt up. Originally, I thought I could just mound up the dirt, but I, I don't want to do that. So I'll probably just do a little wooden ramp here and just have it come out not much farther past the step. Just enough so I can get up and in. So that's pretty much it. This is like a little two-day job. If you just go get all the lumber, if you have a circular saw. Actually, the circular saw I only use for that, but... Um, well, most of the wood here, like all the siding, when you go to Home Depot, just have them cut it. It makes it a lot easier so you don't have to do it. Uh, like the, the roof, the flooring, I just had them cut everything at Home Depot. Um, and actually Lowe's, all the stuff I got at Lowe's. And then, uh, and that's pretty much it. So it's literally like a one to two day job. Um, you know, don't overthink it. Just four squares, you know, four sides and a door in the front. All right, so comment down below if this helps at all, if you're, you know, Again, if you're just a weekend warrior like myself, the next job is this pesky root I have kills me. It won't die, so I, my chainsaw uh, on the pole, the gas, or the electric one, I gotta get that out and cut that down, power wash this whole steps and restain the steps. And that's pretty much it. So this side of the yard now we're gonna work on, but taking on all the projects for the quarantine. So I hope that this video may have helped at least somebody out there that's looking to build something on their own and save a couple bucks. I don't know what the total cost of the project was. I didn't save my receipts, but that's it. I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for the next video. Peace out, everybody.